Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and I am here sitting next to my adorable little baby Squicken on our lovely garden bench wondering what is one to do when your pockets are full of gunpowder, delicious cake, and roses. And that is the exact predicament, oop, and that's the back of my head, but that's the exact situation I seem to find myself in, my friends. So we have finally opened up all of the amazing mail that so many of our friends have left us and holy day! Look at all of this! Oh my gosh, and there's an escaped, there's an escaped, like, cookie chicken! No, my dear! No, you need to stay safe! How are my chickens getting loose? I forgot I had wild horses and liar birds inside of my pockets. What am I going to do with all of this? Oh my gosh, where do I put my cake? Okay, stay there for just a second, cake. Alright, I've got to put my cookie chicken back because I need to breed these cookie chickens up. I think the cookie chick, the tiny little baby cookie chick that we brought up, actually slipped loose out of the hedge fencing I have and managed to wiggle out into the yard. All right, let's get my green birthday cake back up. Totally awesome green birthday cake decorations. Nice little sculptures that E-Rose made for us. Totally fantastic. Oh, and then we can start trying to sort all of our gifts and figuring out what to do from here. But I am just blown away by all of the generosity and kindness that the amazing Zoo Crafting members have given me. And I have a little snail egg. Let's go ahead and we can hatch the snail egg in my yard. Oh, it's a Henry! It's another Henry, you guys! Oh, I'm so excited to have him in my little garden! Normally, I wouldn't be excited to have slugs in my garden, but a long, long time ago, over 1,000 episodes of Zoo Crafting ago, we had a tiny little orange slug that I fell in love with that we named Henry, who lived in our garden. So I dubbed the Henry the mm, 213th, because it's probably how many generations of slug it would have been by now. Uh, well, maybe not that many. I don't know. How many generations of slug can you fit into four and a half years? Oh man, my little pixel biologist mind is like going off in so many interesting directions wondering that. So I don't know how quick the uh, slug like generational time limit is, but we'll dub the Henry the 213th just for the fun of it then. But all right, so I do want to make some progress on the zoo by putting in the black bear into the black bear exhibit after chasing away the attack Gouldian, or not Gouldian finches, but the attack gold finches that we have over there. But uh, in, um, in having all of these wonderful gifts, I am reminded that we definitely need to give back to our amazing friends by taking them some gifts too. But I am under a little bit of a time crunch because we are going to Taiwan in just seven days. I am so so excited you guys I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up the daily zoo crafting like I wanted already I have missed a day I was on a date with chips and it was really really romantic and awesome and I made a vlog about it and it was totally worth it but um I know that I am loving this I'm feeling it again I'm feeling the excitement of the love of the fantasticness of just being here in our world and doing things the way we love to do them so thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you who have said something because it truly means so much to me and I I do want to get to work on our zoo and I do want to be able to go on adventures and I do want to be able to gift our friends but I am aware that there are only a few days left before we leave for Taiwan and on top of all of those other things we are definitely super excited so many of you guys are excited about the idea of moving our home from this location for the summer over to the jungle we're totally gonna do it we're gonna make a Swiss Family Robinson jungle treehouse home I'm so excited we're gonna be taking chips with us for sure because Chips is actually the one taking me over to Taiwan for his research. So we're going to build like a whole beautiful research museum and it can mirror the amazing national museum that we're going to be going to in Taipei. Holy moly, is he ever excited about that? Trust me, you guys, Chips is like totally tickled to be able to see the national museum. That's one of the big reasons we're going. Oh, and I forgot I had a whole bunch of villagers and a whole bunch of fluffy mittens, bunnies, and who knows what else just stuffed in here. Um, but we're just gonna scooch all of that out of the way and kind of carefully store some of the gifts that I have been given, like these snow chickens and their wonderful snowballs in here for now. Uh, let's see, and I can put the diamonds away. And let's see, oh, the chocolate chip bushes. I need to go read that from Pavo. Uh, let's see, and the garnet roses, fruit punch. I guess the gunpowder can just stay in this miscellaneous chest. And then I want to keep the gifts that Eros has given. Let's see. 
over here. I think the snowflakes is, are actually from Santa Claus. Uh, there we go. But they go with the snow chickens. And we'll put in the sculptures. What should I do with the green birthday cakes? Those would be kind of fun maybe to scatter around inside of a cave system somewhere because they kind of look like gemstone cakes to me. So that might be really fun. We'll save the unidentified eggs for later. Let's see. The fairy lights, I probably will. We might take those to hang uh, up in the tree for our tree house. That would be pretty fun. All right, let's see. And I'll leave behind the present. And I think we have a whole bunch of other things like inside of my pack, but we'll be okay. Oh, I have a drum in here. My gosh, I just, uh, way too many things. All right, and then we'll check in on Pavo's cookie bushes in just a second here. I wanna go see how they're progressing. And I thought, what better place to put all of these roses that Eros has brought to us than by taking them up and putting them inside of the Garden of Eden, our little garden of memories, named after my niece. I always like to clarify that. And we can check in on the cookie bushes that Pavo gave us while we're up there. So let's see, and I'll drink the fruit punch to celebrate too. But yes, I am so excited about going to Taiwan guys don't worry I will be recording the whole time we're there oh hello Henry the 213th but I am going to be uh, pretty busy for the first week or so that we're there so I'm hoping everything will go smoothly make sure to check the update vlogs and the normal vlogs and my Twitter especially I always post on Twitter like all the time I'm a little bit obsessed with it lately but if you really want to see that or the Instagram to know what's happening for that huge transition. But we will be transitioning from this home to a nice summer home in the jungle. All right, so let's take just a moment though. Oh guys, I should put the flowers over here as well. Okay, let me get my shears out because you can always use a bit of extra grass to take care of all the animals of our zoo. All right. And I actually was thinking for our jungle home and for the jungle exhibits and the safari exhibits that we're going to be working on this summer, I'm definitely going to want to go and I'm going to want to grab a whole bunch of types of bamboo. So we'll have a whole bunch of expeditions with very specific goals coming up. Hey Nightlock, how you doing? Um, and we're going to put Eros' roses over here. I think we'll put down garnet rose here. Garnet Rose over here, Alexandriaite there. Oh, and of course it starts raining. I hope the roses won't mind it. Um, maybe another one right there. Just a few of them to kind of give like little hints of what's coming. And then over here, oh, I want to Rose's roses right there. Maybe one right over here. I want them to be like surprises. You turn a corner and you're just like, oh my goodness, look at these beautiful, nice smelling roses. They're so beautiful and pink and red and, and well, pink and red. And what do they remind me of? A certain pink bunny loving, pizza loving person somewhere out there in the world. Ah, oh, that's just perfect. Oh, that's what the Garden of Memories is for too. Oh gosh, I'm just so happy. Nightlock, do you like them? There you go, Nightlock. Oh, he does like them. Look at that. Oh, I'll have to let you Rose know that Nightlock really, really likes her roses. And I want to take the emerald roses, and I actually think they would be fun to put over, because I love green, to put around our really awesome experience of a season bush, which was actually planted after the 500th episode of Zoo Crafting. And we have a whole bunch of these little shiny ground covers, so I thought that they would mix pretty well. All right, we'll put one there. And then let's see, maybe... Another one over here, because they're pretty bright, so I want to make sure they're spaced out a little to help. Um, and then maybe one right here. Can I put one right here? Or is the moss in the way? I think the moss is in the way right there. Well, what about there? And then can I put there? Yeah, I can! Oh, that's perfect, you guys! Look at those beautiful roses! And why is it always raining in this world? I have no idea. It truly, truly is, though. All right, and I think I will make this into like a tiny little rose garden kind of dedicated to E. Rose's roses around my apple tree of origins right here. All right. Oh, I think I want to scooch this one over just a touch. Um, hmm. In fact, I'll put these Oh, out here, Nightlock. Thank you. That's probably a good idea. So let's see. Maybe a few more, like one right there. Oh, I should have put them over here. Oh, this is so nice! And when we go to visit Eros, I know that there's a special place you can actually collect special Eros roses from. 
So when we go to visit her to say thank you for all of the gifts and take her gifts in return, we might be able to get some more of these beautiful roses. But the first person I actually want to visit in between moving our home over to the jungle exhibits for the season and working on the safari exhibit and everything else is actually Luca to really thank him for bringing me a black bear after the tragedy that has struck yet again our black bear curse. And I'm really hoping we can break the black bear curse today by safely putting the black bear in the new exhibit. So we're definitely going to be chasing away those uh, attack goldfinches first. So yeah, there's a lot to do, but I'm really finding that coming back to zoo crafting on a pretty much daily basis makes me feel like I'm getting a lot more of it done. It makes me feel a lot calmer and makes me feel really connected to the community that we have around this being our home away from home. So it may be a little while, guys. I am traveling to another country after all, but rest assured when I can and when we're not super busy with all of the special seasonal events that will be starting, we're definitely going to be back here. This really is home. It truly is. And there's so much to do and I love it. I love it. All right. So our cookie tree. Let's take a good look at our clone cookie tree. And they definitely look different, these cookie bushes. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I hope everything works. Whenever you play with cloning, you never know how things might turn out. But I trust Pavo, so I'm going to touch it. I'm going to touch the cookie bush. Yeah. <gasps> it gave me a cookie! It gave me a cookie! The cookie bush! The cookie bush give it cookies! <gasps> I could be a cookie factory making Marvel between these? Between these and, and my cookie chickens? Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's an actual cookie. Actual cookie bush. Actual cookies from the cookie bush. <gasps> Pavo, what do I even give him? Do I just like make it rain cookies at his house? This is amazing. Look at these. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. So this bush actually does produce cookies. Oh my gosh, where on earth? Is there like some sort of special recipe to be able to make? Oh, there is a special recipe to make a cookie bush. It's just saplings and cookies. I could make a cookie forest. I could make a cookie forest. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I had plans. I had a to-do list. I had projects. I was going to stay focused. And then someone gives me a cookie bush. <gasps> Deep breath, Siri. Okay, guys. At some point, we're going to be making a cookie forest. <gasps> and what better time to make a cookie forest where you have edible bushes with edible cookies on a... Th on leaves! Cookies growing off of leaves and bushes! What better time to create that and recreate our little cookie trees here than for a special Zoo Kitchen episode? <gasps> What do you guys think about that? And we might start using Zoo Kitchen episodes to actually build restaurants and food stalls and come up with all sorts of fun names for things. Oh, and just wait till I have new things to eat. I just ate a scallion pancake for the first time last night because Chips ordered in some food from a new Chinese restaurant to give me a taste of what our vegan food may be like. And holy moly, I love scallion pancakes. So I might have to come up with fun ways to make our very own like food recipe mod and share it with you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so thrilled and tickled to pieces. I have so many things to thank my friends for, and I have so many animals to take care of. This poor black bear. All right. All right. So nobody panic. Deep breaths. I have cookies. We will be making a cookie bush forest. Um, wow. Man, I am going to have to thank Pavo for that. I mentioned that just offhand, really excited about the idea of what would happen if we could have cookie bushes ages ago, and he made it happen, and I'm so excited. Henry the 213th, do you want a cookie? There you go, little guy. I'm not sure what you'll think about the cookie, but I, I only feel that it is fair to share with you. Everybody needs to indulge in this cookie awesomeness, except for like my dogs and other animals that should not eat cookies. But animals that can eat cookies include my cookie chickens. Um, no, no, we want to stay this way. Okay, nope. All right, let's eggshell. Don't get out. Okay, do we have new new <gasps> baby cookie chick? Wonderful! A little chocolate chick, you might say. Ho 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 ho. Alright, so we are really expanding our cookie making potential. Um, oh gosh, and there's a whole nother cookie on the ground already. And I think we have a ton of cookies in here. 
Oh my goodness, we do have a ton of cookies in here and we have so many eggs. <gasps> oh, who knows what I'm gonna do with all that. But I guess I can give away a bunch of cookies and maybe some egg related some things to my friends as well. So let's see, oh, and I need to teach the hedgehog to give me something other than dead leaves because it's almost summer. Even though it's really cold here in Michigan right now, but the point being, it's almost summer on the calendar and that's what counts. All right, so we still need to put the bear away and this is the zombie head and the carrot that I actually got from my fights with the zombie, like the garden zombies that raided us last time. So I'm actually going to take those and if I can, oh, let's see, that's a wildebeest fur. I wanna make an item frame really quickly. So let's see, do I just have, hello? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Hang on here. I didn't authorize this. What's that squeaking noise? Huh. I heard a squeaking noise, but I don't I don't know what it was. It almost sounded like a mouse somewhere. What? It's so faint. I don't think you guys can hear it. But I wouldn't be surprised if somebody left a surprise in my house. Wait, like, yeah, that's right. It, but can you really call it a surprise if I'm not surprised it, that somebody left something unexpected in my house? I hear something. It sounds like a little mouse. You know, even my friends are against me trying to get my tasks done on time. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Oh, and our special tree. Oh, the special ancient tree that Jacob made. If you guys remember that episode. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. All right. So what on earth was I doing before the unexpected mouse that I'm not sure if you could call it a surprise if I was maybe expecting it. What the heck? There's a whole bunch of money pieces. That's very interesting. Well, we'll worry about that later. But, oh yeah, I was trying to make an item frame so that I could frame the zombie head and the carrot that we won in battle against the garden zombies, which kind of made me want to play plants versus zombies, to be honest. And I was trying to make something. I'm trying to make an item frame. Let's see, leather. And are there other recipes for leather? The food plate. Chinchilla fur? I, do, I don't want to make chinchilla fur leather no thank you moving on there's green tea leaves and rotten flesh hide giraffe leather again no thank you oh but i could take a little camel camels we have camels oh my gosh and eater jim's mock oh my gosh all right um i think i saw some leather boots in here i'm just gonna repurpose these leather boots thank goodness Oh, I'm so relieved that they're here and that's actually just enough for what I need too. All right, I'm sure I have some wood. There's some wood over here. Here's a stick over here. Um, I should probably put a crafting table in here too, but I have one right over here. I have no idea what that squeaking noise is in my house. I, I may have to actually speak to E-Rose because she does have... Oh, I don't have enough sticks. She does have several mice in her home, actually. A lot of really adorable mice. I think their names are Pixel uh, for some of them. And I definitely hear something in my house. And there's a peacock feather. This is kind of another one of my chest of randomness. You don't really know what might happen to be in here. And I kind of want to use some of it to give a, these items as gifts to my friends. All right, let's see. And I think I can make sticks out of this driftwood. All right, I can make a lot of wood out of the driftwood. And from there, wonderful. Wow, driftwood had a lot more wood on it than I thought. It must have been bigger pieces. All right, so we have a couple item frames. Huh. Well, I'm very excited about these cookie bushes, actually. Like, quite thrilled about that. And then we're going to put up a couple really nice, <laughs> really nice item frames. And we are going to hang up our trophies of having bravely defended the garden. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. Memories. Oh, I can't wait till we start building museums and actually putting in your guys' fan art, like, into the world. That's going to be fantastic. All right, let's see. And I have my little bunny slippers from Eros. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put my adorable bunny slippers on while I'm in the house. She has also given me quite a few other bunny slippers now that I think about it. I think I have them in here. Like I keep them in my closet. This is where I store extra clothes. Huh, I don't have them in here right now. Interesting. Well, I'll put my steel leaf boots and my steel leaf armor away for just the moment. Oh, I can put it on here. There we go. And then when we're ready to leave the house, I can change back into my steel leaf stuff. Oh, that's looking awesome. It's kind of nice to hang it up because it feels like it's good to be home and just have a peaceful moment to myself. 
All right, and what I wanted to do to say a big thank you to Luca for the black bear is actually make him a really delicious berry pie. So we're gonna try to make a yummy, yummy pie. There's blueberry pie, raspberry pie, there's cherry pie, spinach pie, maybe not the thing I was thinking about. Uh, gooseberry pie, raspberry pie, is there strawberry pie? There is a strawberry pie. I think we'll go for raspberry pie because it has the look that I really am going for. And I want to make him a really yummy raspberry pie and then maybe make him something else out of the berries, like the delicious raspberries or strawberries. So there's like tea, jelly, maybe we'll make him some jelly, especially we could use some of the honey that we've been collecting from the really awesome new bee aviary that we've got going on. The really, really huge one. You guys know which one I'm talking about. The one that's like somewhere over here and it's gigantic. Let's see, do I have enough honey and things like that in here though? Man, I've missed cooking. All right, we'll put some of these cookies away. There's so many cookies. <laughs> I don't know what to do with all of them. Um, I don't think I have any honey actually. This is kind of interesting. Do I have any? Oh, I have a whole bunch of honey over here. All right, we'll be able to make enough. And I think I have a whole bunch of dough. I usually do just already pre-made, ready to go. Uh, waiting for me right over here. There we go. Wonderful. And then let's go ahead and see raspberry pie. All right. So we need the raspberries. Then we just need the honey, which can stand in for sugar. We need the dough, the bakeware, and some raspberries. And that can make some delicious raspberry pie that we can give as a special berry. Do you get it? A berry gift from us for our good friend holy days i have a lot of grapes <laughs> i have a lot of grapes oh my gosh i guess we're going to make grape jelly um do i think i have a lot of peanuts too so i can make grape jelly and i can make peanut butter and we can offer let's see i hear the cows down inside of the laboratory downstairs there's a bunch of honey I could have sworn I had a bunch of peanuts. Peanuts, peanuts. So would that be fresh herbs and spices? There's pecans. I could have sworn I had a bunch of peanuts to be able to make peanut butter. Oh, I heard something. I am hearing all sorts of very interesting creatures. Let's see. Hmm, fruit basket. Maybe I don't have peanuts. Maybe I'm missing peanuts. I could have sworn they would be in staple crops so that I can make some delicious peanut butter for my friends. Hmm. How do I grow peanuts? Do I grow them? I grow them as a crop. Hmm. Ah, here's some peanuts. All right. So I knew I had a whole bunch of peanuts hiding somewhere. They're just mixed in with the corn, so they're a little bit hard to see. All right. Well, I'll have to think about the future of my peanut crop if I'm that low. But I think it'd be fun to make like a bunch of grapes and peanut butter and offer it as a gift, kind of like half of a picnic basket for being able to make PBJs. And we'll make several raspberry pies. And I need to make like a little Luca pile in my pockets so that I've got room to give him gifts too. All right, everything clear out of the way. Actually, maybe it would be easier if everything clears out of the way up here. All right, all right. All this trash from all of the people at the zoo, all the guests I have to put away. Whew. And there we go. So this is going to be my Luca gift pile right over here. No peeking, Luca, if you happen to be watching this. All right, and then let's go ahead and make some grape jam, grape jelly. Ah, we can use the honey again, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Did I use up all of the honey just then? Nope, all right, wonderful. Have to wash the bakeware and put that away. I can put the dough away. And then, let's see, it's grape jam, grape jelly right there. Just need the saucepan on it. All right, so rinse out the bakeware and put that away. And where's my saucepan? Oh, I've missed this. I love cooking. But I just thought that would be really fun to be able to make a really delicious set. Let's see, got about half my grapes gone there. But just to make a really fun little picnic set. Um, Let's see, maybe we can even make the fresh baked bread. Ooh, that would be yummy too. And now we're gonna use the peanut butter or the peanuts to make peanut butter by putting it in the juicer. All right, no problem. Let's see, where's my little juicer? Is that my juicer? No. Juicer. Hmm, I have a bunch of peanut butter already done up there, but I guess I just have the juicer in my pocket. Okay, we'll just use that one. All right, and we're only going to do half of 
the peanut butter or the peanut stack because I only had enough honey to be able to make um, to be able to make 32 grape jelly. But that should be good. All right, let's go ahead and put away this dough and then I can rinse out the saucepan and put it up and I can put my emergency juicer away. Uh, did I already put it away? Oh, I left it on the counter. Gosh, I love cooking. All right, there we go. And then I can give him an entire stack of cookies. So that kind of makes half a picnic. And that would be a good time to advertise to him and let him know that we have a really awesome picnic basket area that he's more than welcome to come by and check out. And then while we're down there delivering the awesome new black bear, we can also try picking a whole bunch of the native flowers that grow in that area and offering it to him as a gift too. And we can fetch some more of the honey from over at our new bee apiary. Whew. Well, I think that would definitely make me very happy to be able to share that kind of bounty with my friend. And it would make me very happy to finally see a black bear survive and thrive in the black bear exhibit. <sighs> all right, so I think we're good. We've got a little bit of progress made on all fronts, more or less. And now I'm gonna grab the puppies and then I will run down to the black bear exhibit next time, chase away all of the <laughs> attack goldfinches so they, they don't attack my friends and then we will deliver the new black bear who's going to need a new name and gather up some honey and a few other little gifts that might be popping up around the beautiful temperate forest area. Maybe we can even get some of the yummy yummy food that are down at the gazebo and then we'll head over and we'll visit Luca's place and do a little bit of an expedition looking for the zebra and the elephants and some of the other creatures that we could add into our safari zone while we're there and keep in mind guys things may be a little bumpy as I transition to Taiwan for the summer but we will be moving house um, we'll be moving our home taking a little bit of a break from the safari zone for just a bit to move from here over to a brand new home in the jungle biome I'm so excited we'll get a chance to like learn about so many new birds and add so many new exhibits just the idea of building zen gardens and noodle shops and little eateries and these gorgeous gorgeous areas where we could have a whole bunch of bridges just spanning between the trees oh it's gonna be awesome even chips said oh you should build us a house inside of a tree canopy even chips he doesn't even really pay attention to minecraft i thought that was so awesome so i'm gonna make sure to build him an awesome office to represent all of the studying he will be doing in taiwan <sighs> And then I'm really looking forward to learning about an entirely new part of the world and sharing that whole adventure with you guys and bringing it to life forever in zoo crafting. So all right guys, I'll see you all next time. Oh, I need to change out of my bunny slippers too. Oh gosh, they're so cute. Thank you, Eros. All right, bye everyone. Remember, stay curious.